Okay, let's get at it. Deja vu all over again. Only this time it's actually locked instead of just uh, the chain wrapped around it. Oh well. Plan B. Good morning. It is Saturday, December 18th, 2021. I had a nice zero day yesterday. And today I am back on trail. We have already had to audible this morning. The plan today was to start at Bear Mountain Observation Tower and head south. But um, as we were trying to drive up to Bear Mountain Observation Tower so I could hike south, the road up to the tower is closed seasonally. And so we couldn't get up there. Hold on. So while I was busy babbling about that, I missed the turn where two trails diverged. Let's take the AT South this time. As I was telling you about having to audible already, there I am on the wrong trail. So it's gonna be a day, folks. All good. Um, anyway, the road up to the top of Bear Mountain South is closed. So Jim dropped me off on Perkins Memorial Drive, 1.7 miles south of the tower. So, Upon a quick reworking of the plan for today, I think the plan is now for me to hike 16.9 miles south from just south of Bear Mountain. Uh, we will go up over five or six climbs today, and all of the names are escaping me. Something Mountain, Jim will fill it in. Black Mountain. I will be froggering across the Palisades Parkway today. Carefully, I hope. A day hiker was killed crossing that road a couple of weeks ago. She got hit by a car. And I don't know the details of what she did versus what the car did or whatever, but still that's tragic. So I will do that carefully today. And after that, sometime we have Arden Mountain. Wait, before Arden Mountain, we have the Lemon Squeezer. Well, lots of stuff going on today. Lemon Squeezer, Arden Mountain. And then uh, I was gonna finish up at Elk Pen parking lot today, but since I'm starting, oh, sorry for the huffy puff I'm climbing. Since I'm starting further south than planned, I will probably continue further south, maybe to Orange Turnpike. Or somewhere like that, we'll see. The weather forecast today is for 100% chance of rain and sleet. Um, snow possible. It's right in the lower 30s, which up here in the north they say we'll have a wintry mix, which just means I'm gonna have to take my time a little bit today if it gets slippery and hopefully not fall. But right now it's a light drizzle. And when it's in the low 30s, it's not too bad. There is the elusive Bear Mountain Observation Tower that we could not drive up to today. But I will go up and over soon. You can kind of see the road going up the mountain there. And we are working our way up our first climb, which is West Mountain. And there is the Hudson River, and we should get some nice views of that today while we climb. Okay, here's a better viewpoint. You can see the road up the mountain there that was closed. On the left, there's the tower on top. And headed that way, we see the river. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Do you think people get lost here a bunch? Just curious. This is really well marked, but if you go back that way, it's not so well marked. So it's kind of funny how trail crews decide what to overmark and what to not mark at all. It's amusing me this morning. That down there is the Palisade Parkway that I will be playing Frogger across in about a mile and a half or so. See you down there. All right, 
Frogger levels one and two have been successfully completed. Made it across the Palisade Parkway northbound and southbound without too much of a challenge. Just waited for the right opportunity to cross. And on we go now, up our second climb of the day. Whew, I am nicking my way up Black Mountain. And it is not a long climb, it's about 0.7 miles, but it is a little steep. I am huffy, 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 puffying. But it's keeping me warm. Still just a sprinkle today, all good. All right, I'm not quite to the top of Black Mountain, but I just wanted to show you. You can see the blazes. Oh, where are they? Way down there. And we came up and around these blazes, doing some rock climbing switchbacks. Zoop, 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 up some steps. And we'll go up some more rocks. Hopefully the top's up there someplace. We made it to the top of Black Mountain. That is the Hudson River over there. It's kind of hard to distinguish it from the cloudy day, but it's over there. And we've got just a beautiful set of mountains over here. A little bit of trees up here at the top, but I'm gonna keep spinning ya because we got more mountains on that side. Really pretty day. Rain's just spitting at me. Nothing too crazy, and I'm very happy about that. Okay, I might get in trouble with Melissa that I'm out hiking and I'm not hiking with her, uh, but I passed what's called the Old Silver Mine uh, Ski Slope, and figured I'd do a quick run up it. I'll go up the uh, left side and come down the right side. I don't think it'll be very long. And hopefully I don't get attacked by geese along the way. But maybe it'll be as exciting as the Bromley Mountain ski slope that we came down in Vermont. But I guess we'll find out. Okay, see you at the top. Yep, I came up and around the mountain and back down the slope now. Along the side, looks like they have the uh, remains of a uh, tow system or something. And there are some uh, random other pieces. I honestly have no idea whether this gets set up in the winter time or not with tow cables. Who knows? but definitely not set up now. I'm coming down the hill to the William Bryan Memorial Shelter and the woods just look really cool. Coming down some steps right here and the shelter's right over there. I might tuck in there just for a second since it's raining and grab a snack. We are about eight and a half miles in on the day which is uh, just about halfway from what I have planned after the audible this morning, 16.9 uh, planned. Um, the last couple miles have been pretty mellow. They've been uh, up and down and up and down. Some of them steep ups, but short. Some of them rocky downs, but again, short. Um, whoop. <laughs> the wet leaves are slippery. Um, and the rain's been coming on and off, nothing too heavy. Mostly just a light drizzle to a steady drizzle, which if it stays this way all day, that is absolutely fine with me. Like that is not bad at all. I'm hoping it doesn't turn into rain, I'm um, sorry, turn into ice and sleet, which is in the forecast, but we'll see what happens. I did uh, run into Jim a little while ago in the safety of our car. Um, he had stopped at a road crossing, or I guess a road where the trail crossed, and uh, I walked up to the truck to say hello to him, and uh, some guy I didn't know was in the passenger seat. Apparently somebody out doing a section hike, and uh, he was sitting in the rain taking a break. And so Jim said, hey, come sit in the car and take a break and at least get dried off for a little bit. So that was kind of neat. I don't remember the guy's name, but Jim will put it in here, I'm sure. 
and nice to see uh, other people out hiking. I've actually passed like six or seven people today. It is a Saturday, so I guess it makes sense that our people are out, but um, if it were me and it was a Saturday and I was just coming out for a day or two, I'd be picking tomorrow instead of today because tomorrow is supposed to be sunny and cold instead of rainy and cold, but more power to people. Glad they're out here. I'm glad I'm not the only one crazy enough to be out here. Earlier today, there have been almost no blowdowns completely, but just came across this kind of gigantic one. I'm not sure if I'm going to go around that way. That's the culprit up there. Or if I'm going to try to go around that way, but there's a brook down there. So we'll see. We'll get through it one way or another. All right, we are approaching the lemon squeezer. Now there's the easy way path. I may regret this, but I'm taking the white blaze hard way. All right, I don't know how I was supposed to come down that. I wedged my body basically in this crack and put my feet in here and lowered myself down pretty wet. And then I get down here and there's a white blaze that way. So maybe there was a way down those rocks? I don't know, but I came down. Let me retrieve my poles and go find the squeezer itself. Where I wish I had the uh, GoPro on, just came through that sketchy tunnel. And we're gonna wander this away. And I think that's technically the lemon squeezer itself, but we had to go through the squeezier tunnel to get to it. This is Island Pond. It's really pretty, even in the drizzly rain. What a cool little canal way from some former housing complex in here, I'm sure. Settlement, whatever. Really neat. I just came out of Elk Pen parking lot and we have a little bit of a road walk to cross over Route 87. And this is a bridge that had been taken out of commission this summer by some kind of accident, I don't remember what it was. And they were for a while not even letting hikers across. Now they're saying hikers can go, um, but no cars yet. Yay, I-87. She's made it through the rain, at least this far. <laughs> we just got to see Jim down there. He stopped in to bring me a cold drink of water and some crystal light and figure out where the heck I'm trying to get to today so he can pick me up there. And we are now climbing up Arden Mountain. This is a super steep climb. It's about uh, 485 feet in 0.4 miles, which is more than a thousand feet a mile, which is steep. Um, but it's only 0.4 miles long, so I'll suck it up and get it done. And it is my last big climb of the day today. Got about three miles to go and uh, up this and then some uppy downies and then down. You can see 87 down there. Some cars going by. Oh wait, there's no cars here, sorry. You can hear them. There you go. 17's down there with the car going by. That's where Jim met me. We are climbing up. And we have some more climbing to do. The place way up there. That's where we're headed. We're up the first part of the climb. Much better view of 87 down there. And right there is the bridge that I walked across a little bit ago. Well, I was wrong. We made it up that climb. One more set of scrambles. At least one more set of scrambles to the top of Arden Mountain. I think this is the last push up the steepest part ahead of me, I hope. I just had a unique experience I've never had before hiking. So I'm hiking along a few minutes ago, I'm going up on the ridge line, I guess, or top of Arden Mountain, and I hear animals in the woods. That's not surprising or unique. I'm expecting it to be a couple of deer, because we see deer out here all the time. No big deal. But as I look up to see the deer, 
not deer. I saw three or four bodies running away on all fours and they were dog-like. They were dark gray. Oop, big step down, hold up. Oop, no falling, stay vertical, okay. And I think there are wolves. Are there wolves on Arden Mountain in this part of New York? I don't actually know that, but I can't identify what other animal that would have been. They looked dog-like, sort of uh, medium-sized dog-like, low to the ground. They weren't... I'm okay. Give me a second to stand up. Okay, I'm vertical again. Slippery, wet leaves just knocked me on my butt. My first fall of my makeup days. Whew. My phone's okay, I'm okay, life's good. You got to witness it, sorry folks. Anyway, I'm gonna stand still for a second, catch my breath, finish my story. I think there were three or four wolves running away from me. So I kept moving through that part of the trail. I didn't want to stop and uh, alert them in case there was a, a den or pups or something nearby. But I'd love to know if anybody knows if there are wolves living around this part of New York, because that was kind of cool. Or if you think it might have been a different kind of animal, let me know what you think that might have been. I'm, I'm guessing pretty confident wolves, coyotes, something in that family. All right, we are closing in on the end of the day. I have one mile to go to East Mombasha Turnpike, where Jim's going to pick me up. I will have done 18.3 miles today, pushed an extra 1.4 after the uh, audible this morning. Wanted to max out the daylight that I was using. Turns out I am going to max out daylight. It's already after 4 o'clock and I have about a mile to go, so hold on. My screen's all wet. Slightly better. So, uh... I was making great time today. We went up West Mountain. We went up Black Mountain. We had a whole bunch of uppy downies. We went through the lemon squeezer, which was really fun. And then uh, Arden Mountain kicked my butt. Um, it was not only a steep climb up, which was challenging, but uh, the rocks at the top were very slippery and the climb down was very slippery. So I ended up, as you saw, falling. Um, but I also just had to... Let's go. That is so poorly marked. I'm assuming this way. Uh, ended up having to slow down so I wouldn't fall again. And as you just saw, I'm gonna say this section of trail has had a number of weird markings that are confusing. I've uh, gotten lost or off trail three times today. The first time was this morning when I was talking to you guys on vid and that was completely my fault because I wasn't paying attention. It was well marked, I just didn't see it. The other two times I was paying attention and it just was not clear which way to go. And I think part of the problem is it's so not clear where to go that a lot of other people have also gone off trail there. And so there are other trails that they've taken that you just don't know which one is the right trail because there's no white blazes anywhere to show you. And so that was a little bit frustrating today. And often in those parts and in other parts, you have to turn around and look at the trees behind me to figure out which direction the trail was supposed to be coming from ahead of me and therefore which way I was supposed to be going ahead of me. And I don't think that's a northbound southbound problem as much as it is just a poorly marked section of trail. I'm sure the trail maintainers know exactly where the trail goes, so there's no confusion for them. So they mark what makes the most sense to them. But honestly, I think trail crews on every trail should come out with a novice, a hiker that does not know their trail and see where they get confused and lost and then mark it better there. So that uh, was a little bit of a frustration for me today. But that's okay, we're getting the miles in and that's all good. And I'm still following these white blazes and that's all good. Uh, the rain today just started up again. 
It's been on and off all day. I'm actually really happy that it's been light. Uh, at most, we've had a steady drizzle. It hasn't been a pouring rain at all. I'm thrilled it hasn't been snow or sleet or ice. The wet rocks and leaves were slippery enough without contending with ice today. Um, so I'll take it. And the rest of the week that I'm hiking is supposed to be dry, cold but dry. And so having gotten almost all the way through today, uh, I think it's going to be a good rest of the week. So that's about it for today. Highlights for me were, uh, I don't know, just getting some miles in, even though it was a dreary day, seeing whatever those animals were. Um, and the only low light for me was really just um, navigational issues. I guess the highlight is when I fell, I didn't get hurt. So really don't want to get hurt on the injury makeup mile. So that would be just tragic. So I'll keep trying to stay vertical. You guys keep watching. And we will see you tomorrow.